Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough. And uh, it's been a few days since I played, but uh, ran some tests and updated the emulator, which just fucking annihilated all the optimization I had going. So I had to move things around, and I think it might be a bit less stuttery, or it could just be random chance. Also, through some testing, sometimes, like, uh, that one time that we, like, took a look at the Golden Gaff DLC map thingy, like, uh, I've been just going in there just like, ah, it's kind of like a random test thing, and sometimes, like, the floor would be disappeared, or other times it would be there for, like, that opening, like, ooh, the characters are talking graphic, which is weird. But first things first, we're going to fight this battle... Then we're going back to the Golden Gaff because I am 90% sure that I now understand how it works. Apparently, the enemies don't actively attack you, they just counterattack. So we might be able to get a good few bunches of money from it. Uh, but let's go fight this dude. The peaceful village. Peaceful village. Well, first things first, we'll need to decide who we want to take. It seems like that village... I think that's the only village. Alright, so it's the only village, and... It is closed, so we don't need to worry about it. Now we just need to decide who we want to level up. Because maybe... Na Naui? Noe? I forget how she says her name. Because hmm. we also want to, like, level people up. We also want to, like, pair them up with other characters so that they can have high affinity and can do things. And maybe level up our... <laughs> is it just me or is her, like, green reach far reaching now compared to what it was? Meh. But what we will do is we need to decide who we're gonna team up with who. Let's see. Because... Because we need characters for leveling up. At this point, we're pairing these two up just because I find it amusing. Even though it's probably uh, unoptimal. Two mages side by side. But then, once they're, like, super paired, if I wanted to, I can then link them to other people. Let's see. To play matchmaker, who are the ladies that still need to be paired up with people and men? It seems like we have fewer women, so I feel like that's more that's easier to like. Let's actually see. We have one, two, three, four, five, technically six, seven, eight, nine. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, there are less ladies in our army than there are men. And plus, it just kind of makes sense to like pair pair them up to rank S so they can be like super duper good if we really need to do it. But at the same time, also level them up with other people so that they can pair off as need be. So I'm just trying to think. I think we were pairing Maribel with Stahl. Pan with Lanku. I still don't know how to say the name. Sumia's already done. I guess I'll... I, I just like their dynamic. And plus, it's slightly less creepy. We're, we're gonna have the thousand-year-old dragon pair up with the pig farm child man. And again, Muriel of Ricken and Cordelia. I don't know who... Because hmm. we've been going down the Kellum path. And we're also putting Gaius with Lisa again. Because I just... I like their dynamic. And also, again, the sweet thief. And apparently the sister who likes sweets from his recruitment. Which is still a little weird. Hmm. Let's see. 
Like, the only other guy left, like, maybe Gregor? I don't know. Because we could try and, like, maybe see what Cordelia and Vike are like, but that eh, Kellum's a sweet guy. I don't know. So, yeah, what was... Hmm, no. So, let's see. You two will be paired, you'll be paired, you'll be paired, and you'll be paired, and we're with an odd number. So, the question is, should we bring Vike in for more leveling, or should we throw somebody else in? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. We use Sully more, and she has two weapons versus just him, but... We'll level up Vike a bit more. Let's level up Vike a bit more. So yeah, we'll just keep this. Now, let's see. I feel like you're... Hmm. There's the two sparklies down here. The, all the enemies will come rushing. So I'm just trying to decide. We also don't have that many horse people. But at the same time, maybe we should come up here so that we can, like, maneuver more. Hmm. I'm not sure if these guys should scare me or not. We have two, like, instant level guys that we might need to be a slightly worried about. We have a bunch of archers, actually. So it looks like Kellum will be getting the majority of the leveling this time around, and I forgot to take Roy's blade. So yeah, hmm. What we'll probably do is we'll send a team of Cordelia, Kellum, and Vike, I guess, down here so that uh, Cordelia and Kellum can grab the sparklies and wipe out these guys, and then everyone else can go up top. And which that case, I think things should be good. Yeah. Just me overthinking things, and I'm still probably going to, like, lose everyone in battle. Pair together. Hmm. Let's see, can you reach? You can. So we'll pair up like this. Run down here. And switch because archers. Huh? Hidden in plain sight. Just like someone I know. Dying Blaze. Nice. Darn it, and Vike just barely can't get there. Let's see. There's no dragons, so she should be fine. Let's see. We'll let them come to us a bit. Ah, this seems good. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Which would be better? Placing our mages here, or keeping our mages, hmm. I think I'll place our mages here. Blast him away! Ah, kill this guy with exact, the exact amount, amount of damage we need. Again, it's like Rickon is becoming a, a super cannon of death. Oh, darn. I should have had Naoi be in control. Maybe Naoi will help. Well, Naoi helped a little bit. We also need to decide, like, who should get the goldies. Let's see. What we could do, maybe... Is smash this guy. Yeah, we'll create like a chain of our allies. But we just crit this guy to death. Super spin, become a Beyblade. I keep using that joke because it's just—it's so hilarious. Just see him spin, spin. Kill him, but then these guys would basically come in and 
suicide. So what we might do is switch. And we'll blast at you. Maybe we'll get a crit again. Blast. Good job. How does this work? Because it's a guaranteed level up, so let's see. I'm curious. So basic, um, uh, basic for the one who aided, and then the full diddly D for the one who killed. Neat. Yeah, don't even think of messing with Naui. Let's see. Let's give you the kill. Except you won't be able to kill. But maybe we'll get a crit. Smash him. You jerk. Didn't even have the decency to die. Let's see. Because we're all here. What we could do... Because I want to move up and get the shiny. So maybe we can come here. Well, it's, this will be a long, drawn-out fight, it seems, in the woods. No damage for you. You can't hurt Kellum. You can't even see him. I'll just use a normal axe. Huzzah! Darn it. Why do I get the feeling that Vike's gonna die again? Good job, Kellum. Defending a friend. We fight together. Be gone, fiend. And a level up for Muriel. Which works, because now we can swap back in Rickon, and she can be... Never mind, she's probably going to die. God damn it. Inconceivable. Everyone, why are all these guys so smart? And that's why you don't pair mages of mages, I guess. But too bad, we're committed. Will you level up? I rule. <laughs> I rule. Dude, you have eight health. You're gonna die. Luckily, this guy has committed to dealing no damage. Why is it that these Risen are like, I'm going to commit myself to dealing no damage? There's not even a chance of doing damage. Ooh, interesting. Indoor fighter. Meanwhile, these guys are like, I'm going to go for the mages. <laughs> At least this will, like, lower his health down so I can choose who should get the guaranteed experience on him. Let's see. Rickon hasn't done it yet. Now he has leveled up. So what we can do is swap, attack this guy, get it out of the way, then decide if... I, this Again, this would be a nice time to be able to, like, see the experience bars on my, my units. <laughs> no more holding the others back now. So do we want Rickon to be able to slam damn dish to bam this guy? Or, hmm. If anything, hmm. The problem is, is that, like, these guys are, like, probably going to barrel down on this poor man and try to annihilate him. We're gonna equip you with fire. Bring him down, but then these guys would just be continuing to be evil. Let's see.
Oh, this is also an archer. So if we attacked you, he would... Basically, if anybody gets a hit off, and they if they get multiple hits off, it's doomsday for the boy. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to have him come up, take the kill, and I'm going to shift Rick into the back. We done? I forget. Did you already level? I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. I don't think you leveled. I wonder if my theory of if they level up once in a match, if, you, then, if they then level up again, they get less stats is true. Someone should reward me for this. And yet, that uh, fear. If he survives next time, high chance of him dying, high chance of him dying. So if I wanted to, I could probably just send Vike up to get healed. Maybe. I don't know. Except there's nowhere else is like they're going to come for him. And again, the sparklies. So yeah, we should prop him. I guess I can... Since they leveled up, we can also, like, put Cordelia up front now. But they're probably gonna, like, throw, a, throw an axe at him, because of course. I wish they would like, like, short axe. I wonder if that's like the designation for throwing axe. God damn it. Here I thought he would be safe. At least I think that makes it so that the other guy can't shoot at him. So we'll go ahead and smash this guy for daring to exist. I probably should have looked at his skill because it was a fire and I was like, ah, I wonder what that is. Also, I feel like that would be an ineffective axe just from the design, it's squiggly. Then again, there is like Robin's default sword, which is like squiggles the sword. And heal the boy. I think Rickon already leveled up. Let's see. Yeah, Rickon already leveled up. So did he, so we're gonna swap to you. We're gonna blast this guy away with Naoi, just because we can. Get blasted. We'll see. Do you only get two? No, it just seems random. Okay. Neat. And got a steel bow. Yeah, we'll just blast you with fire. I just realized we're probably not getting that second sparkly. Because this guy's probably going to commit suicide against allies. And then the other... Oh, never mind. He's going after the healer. You jerk. But this guy's definitely committing suicide. Unless we miss. But I think we should be able to get to the sparkly this turn. I forgot that you can do that. Oh, did someone lose this? What do we find? Superior lands. We'll put that away because it's important. Then I guess what we'll do is, again, all the green. We'll heal Rickon again. Because we can. Thanks. 
And then we'll let the boy get the kill. But yeah, the more I play these, the more I'm just like, man, playing on Classic would be devastating. It'd be like XCOM, but worse because all the characters are actually characters. And that would just be the worst thing. Because in XCOM, at least, all the characters are like, you're not going to... None of them are, like, story important. Unless you do, like, the backstory bonus challenge ones. Meanwhile here, like, the, the characters are characters. But now we're gonna give the golden gaff an attempt. Because now that I believe that I understand how it works... And the floor is here today. Good for you. Oh, support. Well, look at that after we go through here. First things first, we need to decide who we want to bring. There's no point, really, in any of that. I think we'll throw Naoi out and bring... Virian in, maybe? What are your skill stuffs? Arms thrift. With, oh, oh, no, I think we did look at these. And arms thrift is neat. But it's tied to luck, and I don't know how high luck can go. But, yes. And then I guess... Because, from the way I understand this, I think... Is that... The monster dudes are trying to escape this place. And... We just have a certain amount of turns to, like, try and kill them. But some of them are, like, obviously going to be far beyond what we can deal with. Like this guy, who is... Just actually reduces all of your stats. Yeesh. But, yeah, let's see. Guess all because she can move fast. Sure. Let's see. Maybe move. Ah, but kill him. Like, hmm. Let's see. Maybe bring in Long Fu instead. So. I believe. Hmm. Let's see. Who has high movement? Does anybody have high movement over here? No. If anything, I would say move Crom over here. Sorry, Vike, you're not going to help much. And I say that this is good. Let's go. And then we'll just see what happens if we, like, pick off a bunch of the lowly ones. Because it still seems like you get a decent amount of money by hunting the, like, obviously, like, the money is proportional to everything. Their levels and difficulty. Additional training, huzzah! And we'll see. Because they all just go super fast. Because there's so many of them. There's 18 enemies. And they boxed in the boy. So the boy might, might not be doing much. Because let's see. He can come up here and kill you. Or you. Who has more? They're basically equivalent. But we'll come up here and annihilate you. Ah, uh, being at my own game of thievery. I'll never live this down. Why do you have to go and take my sweets, too? Take my gold, but leave the sugary stuff alone, damn you! I didn't know that they actually have little conversations beforehand. That's actually neat. That, that was just an axe. Why did you lag like that? <laughs> Citra? Let's see. Most of these guys would be like utter devastation. Hmm. So 
so we will el Elwind you and kill you in one go. Hey, you're the gold thieves, aren't you? How dare you? I was, I was so close to buying that medicine that's supposed to make me taller. Now, now, not only am I short on funds, I'm stuck being short, period. The mage <laughs> believes in increasing height potions. Yes. You are an odd man, Rickon. You are an odd, odd man. Then we'll come up here. Slash this guy with Falcon. Why in the seven hells am I fighting for someone else's nest egg? I don't think I've had a less inspiring cause in my whole life. Well, as long as there are enemies here, I may as well use them for training. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. And why'd you just have your sword in the ground the entire time? Good. He had to place it there, and then pull it out. Because I don't think I want to, like, attack any of these guys, because I think they're all scary. So, we'll move down here so we can maybe catch some of the other guys. Let's see. So, I guess we'll poke at this guy. We'll use the Steel Lance for poking. I don't know what a nest egg is exactly. Never had them on the farm. But I do know what a thief is, and thieves deserve to be punished. So, we're gonna kill him. And plus this is, I guess, decent... Well, I don't know. They could have altered the stat increases. But it's, like, decent experience and, I guess, weapon level training. Let's see. Hmm. Like, maybe it might be good to focus this guy. 3,000. He only retaliates, and he'll take him down quite a bit. So, yeah, we'll smack at you. Face it! Your pilfering reason, I have outwitted you. I am too clever to carry gold on my person. Stop glaring, I have money. I just don't carry it. Well, it's not a terrible idea. Then again, you have to put your money somewhere. Maybe he keeps it in a bank. Let's see, is there anyone we want to blast up here? We can kill this guy in one go, so I guess we'll go ahead and do that. But then again, we could damage this guy, and he carries uh, three times as much, well, yeah, three times. I am far too organized to fall victim to larceny. However, the thought of you ransacking the belongings of others disquiets me. Think of the mess you make in the process. You simply must perish. This just goes to show that everybody in the Shepherds is like, a thief? They must die. Which amuses me. And we'll do the same thing and try to catch them. Let's see. And bite. I guess you can go for the sparkling. Because I doubt you're going to be much help actually taking down the ones we want to kill. All that will be left are ones that are far too difficult to kill. things first. Grab the sparkly. Teach just did 10 sit-ups and didn't even break a sweat. Oh yeah! And he got 19 experience. Let's see. All of these dudes do way too much damage for my liking. Not even dying blaze. Let's see. Is there anyone? Nope. Need a kill. Like, maybe we could try and whittle this guy down? I don't know. I guess we'll... Bl hmm. I guess just to be safe, we'll move up and then blast him with fire. What even is Flux? It's like... He summons a sphere around you and chokes you with darkness. Now let's see. We can come up here and stab him. And apparently take a lot of damage. Eh. Let's at least give you a shot. The others lost their gold because they were reckless. I always keep one eye glued on my valuables so I never... What? My gold! Damn you, fiend! How did you do that? 
He's not even a thief. He's just a he's just a barbarian fighter man. Aha, you missed, you fool. Now die. <laughs> Get a crit quick. Completely unnecessary. Gotta put him close to death. So we'll just have him come down here and poke him. Poke him to death. And then we'll need to decide if we even want to try in dealing with the more threatening big ones. Because they are dangerous. Let's see. If we just poked him normally... We could actually do a decent amount of damage to this one. But the enemy is likely to get a crit. Which isn't good. Apparently all these guys are good for our crits, but he has a low thing. But at the same time, we have, like, easier-to-kill ones over here that we can take on, which we probably should. Uh, yeah, we'll take care of the easier-to-kill ones to guarantee money. So everyone else was keeping the gold they found for themselves. I always deliver what I find to prom. It gives us a chance to talk. Uh, wait. This is no time to get too dreamy. Focus, Cordelia. Focus. How many people were gunning for Crom? Cordelia, Sumia. Apparently the entire Pegasus Corps. nobody that we can attack. I'll just send him to maybe. Let's see. Likely to get a crit and it is very likely to die. Hmm. Let's see. Because yeah, all else we have are normals and we'll just yes send you. Interesting. But the wind will do no damage. Dying Blaze hardly does anything. Hmm. Let's see. How about this guy? So really the only one we can really technically even try is this guy who is likely to get a crit. Is like the only other ones are like these two. Everyone else is like maybe this guy, but his rating is a hundred. There's like nothing. Yeah, the most we can do is run. Try and catch up to the fleeing low level ones. Now they've outpaced us. We can come down here and smack this guy at least. <laughs> okay, just long coup out here, ever getting more and more crits. Every single time it's like a shock. It's like, really? You did that. Come down here and poke the mage. Goodbye. And now again, is there like anybody who I even care to try and smack with? I don't think so. Yeah, it's just like... Well, I guess we'll just move on down. But there's not much we can do. There's, like, all of these guys are, like, super crazy in terms of level and stuff, so. We'll just 
watch them get to the end, I suppose. I wonder if there's, like, a point where you could, like, have enough units you could, like, block them. But nope, they're just running away. And just let them go. A very interesting m map, at the very least. There, all the gold we took back from the Risen in one big pile. Gods, look at it all. Well, you said Frederick had all this? We're fighting a war here! Our army could use this money! Better weapons, new armor, more... Crumb! Huh? Lisa, we need to talk. <laughs> Pretty great we got the gold back, huh? So I can collect my nest egg now? Right, right as if you could carry it all around yourself. Lisa, what were you think? Three gold, please! Hmm? Come again? <sighs> three gold! One, two, three! That's how much I'm missing! Really? Seventeen gold here, please. <sighs> Seventeen. Wow, Frederick, double digits? Look at you, sir, moneybags! Ah. Well, you tend to come across decent coins searching roads and hunting for firewood. Huh. And here I thought you were just collecting pebbles the whole time. Hey. Um, not to interrupt. Yes. Yes, my lord? Hey. hey, I'm still waiting on my three gold crumb. Don't be stingy. You'll get your three gold, I promise, but aren't nest eggs usually a little bit, I don't know? Hmm. Bigger, I know, but money doesn't just grow on trees, crumb. What? Then where did the rest of all this gold come from? What? All this gold? Oh, what go- Oh my gods! Don't tell me all this came from just those risen! Someone in the shepherds must have been getting ready to open a bank! No, no milady, not possible. Even the pathetic pocket change of all our units would not add up to all half of this. Hmm. But who did the risen take it from? <laughs> from these guys? How'd it go, Vince? Did you gut them risen and strike it rich? Oh, it was a right beastly mess it was. Turns out them risen blokes is the ones what nicked me coppers in the first place. But they was chopped into chum for I could save my savings. That blue-eyed bloke sallied in and legged it with every last cent. Blimey, Vince. If that ain't insult to injury. Still, I think you got another chance than shambling types is undead, right? Which means this mountain still stuffed to the gills what with risen. And if you're of a mind to come back and try again, I wager you could. Uh. It's like my dear old mum used to say. What if at first you don't succeed? Retry the level and don't louse it up this time, you daft ass. <laughs> That's the spirit, Vince. Now what say I treat you to a trim at the bar- Huh? Cool blimey, me gold, it's gone! Hmm? Vic, don't tell me those risen rapscallions done pinched your pennies too. I think they did, Vincent. Them blokes broke me bank and me art. Well then, mate, I reckon there's only one thing for it. Time we stop beating a dead horse and start beating a dead corpse. Why did they even, like, it- Like, cause that is not what- Victor and Vincent were like like last time when we knew them they had like completely different mannerisms all right well first things first barracks then support and now we got boxes for some reason what's that so increase affinity but what's the handshake I want to know what the handshake is Vike came in alone well, he just did his normal ganged experience. He's like, I'm not going to get any battle experience. I'll just have to do sit-ups eternally. But only ten. Only ten sit-ups, apparently. Well, let's listen in. You're already married. I don't think you need to. <laughs> you look lovely as always, Sumia. My heart is utterly at your mercy. So that's neat. Married couples get unique dialogue. Love you too. Promise you'll be mine and mine alone forever. What well, do they become S plus rank? Let's see. Hey, so what do you dream about more than anything else? I want to be a proper lady like my sister, but don't tell anyone I said that. And why'd you tell him if you didn't want anyone to tell? But I wonder what this will be. The handshake. What is the handshake, I wonder? It interests me. My, you positively glow today. Has my dashing entrance left you enraptured? Nope, I'm just happy to have my freedom and be around all these fun people. 
I wonder why it was a handshake and not a heart. Because it's because he's married. So it can't that's actually funny. He's married, so any relationship isn't like that, even though he act like that. <laughs> she ran into the husband, now she goes to the wife. Hey, how come I never see you in the camp after battles? Oh my he's going around talking to people? I love a good story. Well that's actually interesting. That they went out of their way to make a unique affinity icon. Cordelia and Kellum, level A. Hmm, I haven't seen Cordelia all day. I wonder if she's practicing her stealth moves again. Yes. Correct! <laughs> That's not the, my voice is just going to die. Correct! Gah! How long have you been there? <laughs> yes, I nailed it! I finally managed to sneak up and catch you unawares. Gods, but that took forever. Wow. Congratulations. Right. Well, I still can't just disappear at will like you can. I, don't know. I find it helps to turn sideways, but sometimes I just stand there. Oh, no. I'll never have that skill, no matter how much I practice. What? Why are you so worried about stealth? You have lots of other skills. <sighs> oh, I have lots of skills, all right, but I haven't mastered any of them. I just wish there was one thing I could be better at than anyone else. <clears throat> uh, I bet there is. Just let me think. Oh, I know. You're better at being able to do more things than anyone else. That's not quite what I had in mind, okay. but it's an amazing skill. You learn new things nearly every day, right? That means you're the best at being average at everything. Thank you. Um, okay? I suppose that is something to be proud of, huh? So she's base. <laughs> Damn it, maybe I should have paired her up with Stahl. <laughs> because then they could be average at everything together! <laughs> well, let's see. We shall save. And we shall activate... Well, first things first, we should probably manage our inventory. Store that. We should probably give you a new wind. We need to go sell the bullion. Okay, well, we'll store the bullion so that it's, like, in one place and we can quickly do it and not just bounce from person to person. You can keep all your bows. We'll take that bow. We'll take that dying blaze. Uh, you can keep the uh, keep all that. You can keep all that. Keep all that. Do we have any like good spears for you? You can have an uh, an emergency iron lance, I suppose. To anybody else. I guess we'll take a concoction and elixir. And we need to use you more to level up your swordsmanship, which is what we'll probably do here. All right then, freaking box. Darn. Freaking box. All right, let's challenge this man. First things first, no flyers out here, just a bunch of horsemen on just a bunch of horsemen okay don't think I have much to worry about because like lances well they're all lances nope some are lance some are sword so and there's like one dragon guy and one blighted risen so nothing really to matter so let's see select units we'll take out me and Krom let's see We'll bring in Sully, and let's see, guys is here, so we can also bring Lisa in, get them up a bit. Is there anybody we care to bring in for this round? Since there's a bunch of dudes, we'll let Vike at least have some fun and maybe pair him up with Virian. Pair these two up again. Oh, but where's Nawi? Darn. Hmm. I guess we could bring Naui in, level her up, and increase affinity with Donal a bit more, and I think that might be good. Let's see, view map. We'll place like that. That works. That should work. That should work. I think everything's good. Now we will save and fight.
repair up. Let's see. Activate. That just leaves Cordelia on her own. Well, first things first, we should apply the hammer. Wait. You can have your steel lance out, your steel sword. And uh, let's go with that. And they'll come to us. Darn it. Why is it always the throwing axe, people? At least this guy's gonna get smashed, hopefully. Smash! And he levels up. Good for you, Vike. I am invincible. You are literally not. You are the most. You are voted most likely to die in a single map. Granted, you don't really have an ally to really lean on compared to everyone else. Let's see, we can... I'll we'll just use an Iron Lance and poke you a bit. We can get a crit? Sure. Maybe I should have gone steel anyway. 66. Okay, sure. And a level up for you. And probably a lot of people coming to just smack you. And they'll die against you. Now again, we'll use the hammer to just blast you unless you miss. Don't you dare miss, Teach. Good. Yeah, let's go ahead and just smack him about a bit. Maybe he'll get a crit. Darn you. Let's see. Guess you can come down here and smack this guy to death. No, Archer, you shall not hit the Pegasus. Everyone is critting today. If I could guarantee crits, everyone would die. That would be a crazy, like, super mode. Like, what if it was, like, lunatic mode, I think it's called, but you always crit. So it's, like, high-stakes gambling all the way through. Gaius's Confect. Can I just gift that to Gaius? Let's see. Uh, we'll just blast this guy. Get him out of here. Gaius is probably going to get nuked. He took enough damage that he's probably going to get smacked about. At least Rickon will level up before he gets mobbed. And he only gets two increases. Increase to your luck. Except it's not that lucky. At least only two guys can attack him at a time. Not that it matters. Because it only will take two hits. Goodbye, Gaius. We're probably gonna die now. Oh, because they can also throw. How very nice. Goodbye, Gaius. It'd be hilarious if they all just had throwing weapons and they were like, I'm gonna throw them all at Gaius. Get fireballed. Everybody's fireballing today. <laughs> and they decide, I will take his place. Sure. And it happens again. Incredible. They are feeding Rickon. This is Rickon power leveling power hour, I guess. Never mind, Gaius is not going to die. It's probably going to be Rickon. <laughs> Come on, Muriel. Go save his life. Then again, I think Muriel is trying to get him killed. Because she's just like, if Rickon <laughs> dies, I won't. Uh, 
Uh, okay. But we're going to switch. We're going to heal you. So that you are less likely to die. Going to switch. And yeah, we'll fireball you. Just to get a little bit in. Unless you crit. Swap and blast you with Nowie. I'm probably saying it's wrong. I'm always doubting myself with these names. We'll save that guy. Just place him up ahead. And she can come around and just, like, stab this guy to death. Oh boy, I hope no Pegasus comes and stabs me. Oh no! Where did the Risen even get, like, horses and dragon weverns? Are the weverns themselves also Risen? Okay, apparently he's just going to bash this puddle man to death with a hammer. That's one way to do it. Yeah, I rule. I rule. Congratulations, you level up again. You finally get to do stuff. Oh, he learned zeal. Is everyone just going to commit suicide at the... The altar of Vike now. Is it feed Vike time? Because that's what it feels like. And now even the boss has committed seppuku. And I wanted Gaius to get one more hit in. Who's... Now, who are you... Grant strength, skill, and speed plus two for one battle. Okay, good. Gaius will get a hit in. And you missed, you missed the cleric. You missed the healer. How do you even do that? And you can grab this. I just finished my copy of Make Him Fall for You in a Fortnite. So embarrassing. Lady, he is married. A missed attack. Well, it's 100%. It's not gonna miss. Again, would be hilarious if it was like 0.0001% chance to miss and not a full 100% chance to hit. Booyah. And Bullion. My lord. That takes care of the Risen in the area. We have killed all the Risen in the world. And we have $19,000. And that was paid DLC. Utter madness. I can't believe that Fire Emblem is pay to win. And the funny thing is, that's probably not that far off. Sell two bullion. Really, if I have... If I don't have any money woes. I have no money woes. I can just buy however much of anything I want. We'll buy some freaking boxes. Just because we're there. More support. Ah, Gaius and Lisa. Level A. God! God's princess. How much salt did you put in this soup? Just the one bag? Is that too much? Nope. <laughs> nope. Never mind. Let's just focus on the positive. Your potatoes were edible? You don't need to try and make me feel better, Gaius. The only reason the potatoes worked is because you remembered to take them out. Well, I suppose I did help a little. At this rate, I'd better find a husband who knows how to cook. 
I mean, would you marry a woman who can't even make a sandwich? What, me? Um, I don't know. I never really thought about... I knew it! You'd toss me out like a moldy sack of grain. All right, then. Tomorrow I want to learn how to open a jar. Deal? Look, Princess, you're very sweet, and I like you a lot, but are you sure we should be, you know, seeing so much of each other? Huh? What do you mean? Yep. I'm a thief, and you're Crom's sister. Tongues might start wagging is all. If anyone has a problem with that, I'll have their head on a pike. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean... <laughs> Just kidding. I wouldn't put anyone's head on a pike. But seriously, I'm not allowed to spend time with a friend. Come on. And I don't, and I don't give a fig of what a bunch of gossipy court ladies say about it. <sighs> Huh? Well, all right then. I want you to treat me just like any of your other friends, and that's an order. Well, for one thing, my other friends don't issue orders. <laughs> I like their dynamic. It's so sweet. Let's see. I'm just trying to think, like, who goes to who, pairs up primarily, hilariously. So many options for Pan, and I've just not been bringing her along. And we're all very close, so we'll, I think we'll go to this place and we'll activate our reeking box. Well, actually, first things first, I should probably... Yeah, we'll throw the steel lance in there. Is there anybody that has extra things that should be thrown? I do not think so. Then... Activate a reeking box! And we shall fight the sludge man. Sludge man, sludge man. Feel the sludge man. Let's see. We'll take Cordelia out. Well, let's see. Hmm. I guess first things first, I'll try to, like, bring up people's relationships. Of which, then, we'll need Lisa. There. So, yeah. That looks good. View map. The two mages. We'll... The question is, actually, I think we should have the mages down here because they can hide and, like, hide in the trees and they'll all come to them. And so that, like, hopefully Gaius can, like, actually try and do things. Maybe I should give him more health. Okay, what we'll do is we'll pair... Yeah, they're pretty far away. And then we'll have him go, because he needs to level up some. Pair, and then they can grab Sparkly. I snuck in some practice, but I could use a sugar boost in a big bad way. Good job, man. And since it's primarily... Magic users, I shall wait. Let's see. Muriel could use the most magic right now. Or, like, leveling up right now. Blast him with magic! Aha, you missed! I wonder if, like, the Elwind would do double da- or, like, extra damage to her dragon form, I wonder. I'll just place him there. Place Gaius beside. Hmm. I guess we'll just go ahead and blast him away. Darn it, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do it from afar, but I'm a fool, and now she's going to be in danger. I am but a fool. What a good spread of stitzer. 
And I guess we'll place them there, because... Guy, oh, no, good. Don't attack the out-of-forest allies. Attack the ones who are in the forest and do little damage. Get blown away with explosions. Because <laughs> Muriel could use some extra leveling up. I still don't know what, like, amelioration is. The Blight is going to do nothing except die. And probably even get crit at this point. Again, you come out... You didn't even do anything. The Pegasus blocked your slash. Then you got comboed. Wombo combo. Well, she's almost about to hit level 20. Good, yes. Go for the one... Well, then again, I guess everybody here can do that. Can... Bobba -da -bobba -da -bobba do ranged attacks. Everybody is attacking all the time. At this rate, Cordelia might actually get the bonus thingy. I guess let's see. Yeah, go up there and smack him. It's not... It's I, I was I, I didn't want to jinx myself. I was like, let's see if it hits, because it's only a twenty-eight percent chance to hit. Sweet, sweet. And I got bully on. And we'll go there so that they can party it up. Let's see. We could have, because she leveled up, so maybe we can. Have him come out and attack. Get him some experience. You ever get stabbed with a lance and then a giant crystal dragon spits a giant crystal ball at you and you explode and die? See, that's what happened to that guy. Fine, you get to live with one HP unless uh, Rickon wants to double dip. Rickon does not want to double dip you. Live for another day. Until you come to die. You have chosen death. Not the good... A 20% crit chance. Will he go Beyblade? The answer is no. But he did spin in the air, and that was pretty dope. And now we will swap. And we'll just, like, walk along, because why not? Let's see. And we can just hide back in the trees. And they can come towards us. Annihilate this guy. What about this man? Either one of them will be annihilated. Hmm. What is your level? We'll let Muriel have some more. And I guess we'll let you also have some. We'll let them dictate their own fate. No sparkles for Cordelia, though. Goodbye, armored man. You leveled up Muriel, though. So good for you. And what about this man? What will he do? Oh, the fire broke. I'll have to give him another fire. Don't worry, I'm here. I'll need to remember to grab her a fire. Because I do believe I have a stock of fire that I bought. Really, that just means that I really should start grabbing, like, some extras of stuff. A bit more. The Risen have been unrised. So 
Yeah, we'll just come quickly here since we have the money. We'll buy two of it. Well, yeah, like that. Well, actually, another fire. Really, with the golden gaff, if I really wanted to, I could probably just upgrade a whole bunch of stuff if I really wanted to. Ah. Well, let's see what happens. I guess I could save if I find it super squicky. But let's see what happens. Right. I believe we've made satisfactory progress. Let us conclude here for the day. Right. Sure. So, are things quicker with an assistant, or am I mostly in the way? Very You've improved efficiency considerably and enabled an entirely new methodology. Your help is appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. But actually, I'd like to help in all your experiments from now on, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. In perpetuity, that would be great help indeed. <sighs> well then, um, here. Mm. A ring. How curious. I guess if it's Rickon who's initiating, sure. Are you proposing we melt it down to ascertain its composition? Hey. I'm proposing you marry me! Then we could work side by side forever! And that's important because I think I've fallen in love with you! Fascinating. Most fascinating. Your words acted as an oral cue causing a suffation of warmth to permeate my chest. This demands further exploration. I shall need your help for another experiment. Right. I'd love to! <laughs> I hypothesize this will be highly educational partnership. I kind of like that dynamic. And again, it's nice that Rickon kind of was the one to, again, initiate it. It's like, again, I don't know their ages. And like, Rickon keeps talking like he's short and small and a child to some degree. But who knows? Maybe he's just a midget. Yes. Hey, Donnie, I remembered where I was born. Oh, yeah? Where at? Listen. It's all the way left from here. Huh? What? You mean west? No. Nope, left, across the ocean, and way to the left. Hmm. I ain't sure I follow. You don't know any landmarks or nothing? No, not really. I was kidnapped right after I was born. Uh, oh, gosh, it's terrible. Uh, it's my dream to go back to my homeland someday. Uh, oh, yeah? <laughs> I mean, maybe I've got friends and family there, right? Uh, yeah. Well, if I find it first, I reckon I'll be sure to come running and tell you. Really? You promise? Yay! Oh, oh, and if I find it, I'll come tell you, too. Uh, now that there's a square deal. Okay. Yeah, I'm really hungry. I sure do have trouble keeping up with you sometimes, Nowy. But if your tummy's a rumbling, I set me a trap a couple days ago. Want to go see if we caught anything? Yeah. If we got us a rabbit, I'll fix you a Donnie special. Thanks. Yay, you're the bestest, Donnie. And I like their relationship, too. So far, again, the only one that, like, is weird and wonky is, like, the female avatar and Krom. Which is just amusing to me. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Well, I guess we can just go ahead and do another reeking box. Just so we can. I think we did it in the wrong place. Oh well. Let's go ahead and fight. Yeah, it'll give us a new map. Well, quote-unquote new map. A, a map we haven't done in a long time anyway, so that works. First things first, select units. We don't need you because you guys are paired together now. Good for you guys. Let's see. Uh, Cordelia and Kellum. So we just need two. I guess Mary will install, or Maribel install. You two can do it. We can... Let's see... Inventory. Do we have uh, extra healing that we can grant you? Yeah, we do. Have a heal instead of a mend. And view map. A lot of horsey guys. Anybody coming from behind? There is not, so there doesn't really matter all that much. We shall save and fight. Let's see. Who do we want to get the first fight off? I guess we'll pair you guys. Switch. Wait. Come here. Switch. Wait. Why so cheery? 
Did they serve your favorite breakfast? Certainly not. This morning's tea was refreshing and put me in high spirits. Ba -ba -da -ba. Let's see. Doesn't really matter all that much because we can come and swap. Da da. Annihilate this armored twink who can do no damage to you. Goodbye, risen man. And there's an instant level guy. Question is, who gets the instant level guy? I think we should give it to Stall because it's been a bit. Let's see. Uh, he needs to level his spears, so we shall bronze lance this golden man. Kill the blighted right man. I wonder why beating a golden one gives so much more experience. What metaphysical properties does that golden sludge hold? And come up and blast out that Pegasus. Be gone, fool. Throw them into the air. Oh no, not a ranged boy. He'll do zero damage even if he hits. That's hilarious. All the ranged boys come in. He'll do one damage because of the thunder. And he still missed. This means that Kellum can dodge lightning. I can't believe Kellum is lightning speed. It just takes him a little longer to come stab a horse. <laughs> That amuses me greatly. And it levels him up. Good for you, Kellum. And he got an Iron Lance. At least he only does a bit of damage. Get knocked off that risen horse. That was tasty. Again, just fancy flip. And more money. Darn, he has a javelin and he can throw it at him and do two damage. Everybody has a javelin. Hey, good job. Well, let's see. Come up here. Get rid of this mage, get a kill. Be good for stall. <laughs> get a crit? Okay. Just love the way that he spins it. As he's like, I'm gonna smack you with this. Now let's see. Has Naoi leveled up? I think she did. So we could, like, smack one of these guys down. Hmm. Who do we want to do it to? I thank you. Because you're in a fort, and that's ugly. Suffer a painful death. My fort now. This is, high, this is Fire Emblem Warriors. Well, we'll go ahead and smack down this horse guy in the fort. Try to stab with a javelin, you fool! Why did it almost say like, uh, almost sound like the risen said my arm? Hmm. Wait, 
up. I think that she also has javelin. So yeah, kill him with a javelin to the face. Javelin. What a way to go. Quit bullying the thief. He is but a little boy. Grab whatever this is. Why don't we fight together next time? You don't have to do everything alone. Of course, I'll be your invisible shield. Good for them. Now who should get it? Stall or Gaius? What we could do is like uh, swap to Maribel, heal, and then Gaius can attack the Risen. Or like Lisa could heal, stall, and then stall could attack. I think I'm going to do that. Shall heal you just a little bit to level up Lisa. Very nice. Just slightly. And now you can come poke this guy with your bronze lance to try and level it up some. And he does zero damage. And we'll just... Nah, we'll just have to be there. So he might... How dare you? How dare you attack the poor cleric? And you missed. You missed the cleric. You dum dum. Now the question is, who do I want to send in for the kill? Uh, more stall. Stall deserves it. He can poke him to a death a million times. Perfect way to whittle away at him. And yeah, we'll just end there. <laughs> so that he can just keep on badgering. Oh no, he's going to heal at the end. That'd be hilarious if we could get into a loop of doing not enough damage. Oh, but he's not going to heal. Huh. I wonder why. Does, do they only heal after my turn, or do enemies not heal in forts? <laughs> Interesting. Malor. I wonder what the specifics mechanics doth be. And we got more support. Stall and Maribel, level A. Hey. I found the documents you were looking for. Well, I'll be. Thank you so very much for the kind assistance. By the by, I've drawn up a list of proposals for your dream. Oh, I never... <laughs> I thought perhaps you might have forgotten. Right then, don't think. Just give me the first answer that comes to mind. Would you rather rise in Krom's army or run the family apothecary? Hmm. Both sound quite enticing, truth be told. No. Come now, sir. A true gentleman must have an opinion about such matters. Um. Well, I've thought about it a lot. An awful lot, in fact. And I realize we have no idea how this world will turn out after the war. So perhaps I should see what is best for my friends before I decide. I've never been very good at working hard for my own benefit. If I'm not helping someone, I just can't seem to get interested. Really? Then there's nothing I can do to assist you. Hmm? Huh, I expect you to tell me to get a hold of myself or something. Clearly. If you hadn't actually bothered to think about it, I would have been livid. But you've already chosen a path. You want to do what's best for those cho close to you. And once you discover a way, I'm sure you'll do your very best to make it happen. That is a dream stall, one that demands both courage and industry. Huh, I may not be much for grand causes, but I do like helping people out. A bit over humble for my taste, but there's no doubting your honesty. Thanks. Thank you, I think. In any case, right now my job is to help you and Krom. So, what else can I do for you? Any more documents that need finding? No. Yes, but they can wait for a while. Why don't we both have a break with a refreshing cup of elderberry tea? I haven't had a nice chit-chat in ever so long. It would be my pleasure. I like their dynamic. Like, so many of the dynamics are actually really pretty good. I like it. Hmm. Now the question is... Border pass. Do we want to... Nah. 
almost want to do the North Road again. Maybe the arena, but if I recall, the arena's kind of clunky. And like, it's basically just flat ground. Almost want to do the North Road, but we can only really do four pairs in there. But then again, ah, let's do the North Road again, why not? To the North Road again, unless we don't have we don't have a freaking box, we must go buy some, which means that we can also sell bullion. I uh, we'll might as well give the reeking box to you. Goodbye, reeking box, use. Not the big armored boys. It means they're going to be slow. So first things first, let's see. They just hit A. They just hit A. They just hit A. So we might as well just use the same team that we had before. Let's go! And plus the... Well, first things first. Well, actually... Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see. We'll have... Pair there, so you can come and perhaps aid a little bit. But I do like the character interactions in this game. The characters are just nice. You can go ahead and grab this. I snuck in some practice, but I could use a sugar boost in a big bad way. Darn, they're throwy. Luckily, you too have Javelin, and this guy is gonna fucking die. Don't forget me! <laughs> Imagine that running at you. Clunk, 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 clunk. And there is nothing you can do but fear for your life. And we can draw back a little bit. We'll swap to Naui. Switch to you. Smack this man. <laughs> Obliterate this man, I guess. That is hilarious. A crit didn't even kill him. I have a sword that will do no damage. Will he miss the 1%? All too easy. Now the enemies will slowly, one by one, kill themselves. You've done no damage. Congratulations. And you missed, you fool. Let's see. Can blast you with magic. Again, I want to... I wonder where we restock on, like, Dragon Stones and, like, the Beast Stones. Yeah. Yes! He can come up and smack this guy. <laughs> Crits for everybody! Spin! And Stahl can poke this guy to death. Get poked! And you can stay there. Oh no! He does more damage to me than I do to him! Even though it said he was supposed to attack twice. Weird. I have been shotted. No, not the steel sword. Hmm. 
see. Because if I moved here and attacked him, but then there's this motherfucker who's coming up from behind. So I'm actually, hmm, maybe, wait. I'm gonna let them uh, attack so I can maybe, like, uh, heal with one of the, the ladies. We'll let them come to us. Good job. Even though it might have been nicer if he hit so I could heal him from behind. Oh well. Everyone is too bulky. I picked the wrong map. None of them will die. I guess what I could do is separate them. <laughs> stop, stop, you're already dead. <laughs> All too easy. <sighs> At least Kellum leveled up. I guess I'll smack him. Maribel can then heal him. Unless he gets a crit. Yeah, now we'll move Maribel over here. Heal you. And then we'll let Naoi obliterate this armored twink man. Kill him! It's just such a pretty animation. And a love love for Naoi. Again, every single time I say her name, I'm worrying that I'm saying it wrong. It's four letters! How can this instill fear in me? And now, let's see. <laughs> Guess who? Huh? Ah! Huh? Oh, sorry, did I startle you? Nope. Oh, uh, not really, no. Oh. Huh? Well, it sure seemed like it, especially when you jumped in with... Wah! <sighs> Look, you shouldn't sneak behind people and cover their eyes like that. <laughs> I thought you'd be used to it by now. Huh. Sometimes I think you could stand to be a bit more princess-like. But I'll remember you said that the next time I'm going out on the battlefield healing you. Well, now you're going to feel super guilty when I show you the gift I brought. Oh, yeah? Needlepoint. Lisa, did you make this? Right. <laughs> I've been... I've totally been practicing, can you tell? Right. This looks like a cat, but a real cat. Not one of your unique ones. Yeah. See, I wouldn't make such a bad wife. Yep. I've never thought you would. <laughs> Why, Gaius, you old charmer. Uh, when you bat your eyelashes at me like that... You might get the wrong idea. Hey. No, they wouldn't, because they would be right. <laughs> they would? Lisa, I have a question to ask you. You're the sweetest girl I've ever met. If you think I'm worthy, I... I... You're gonna marry me right now, and that's totally in order! Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that was certainly easier than I expected. Right, Yay! I knew that needlepoint would do the trick! Not as super duper romantic, but it was like sweet. That's what it was, sweet. <sighs> <sighs> okay, this time I won't blink for 17 minutes. Ready? Listen. It's quite a workout, Callum. Surprise. My eyes, they burn. Oh, hi Cordelia. I'm practicing the exercises you used to see me. <laughs> I've never expected that I'd be teaching them to you one day. I kind of like it. It's fun to have a secret training partner. If you say so. I think it's fun that someone actually talks to me. Which is why I went out and made you this ring. Huh? Oh, Callum, this is beautiful. Did you really craft this? Okay. Yep, yeah, it's probably not worth much, but there's only one like it in the whole world. <laughs> I didn't know you could make jewelry. <gasps> well, I can't really, but I tried my very best. It took a lot of trial and error, but... What? You did it all for me? Uh, I really like you, Cordelia, more than anyone. 
Not to mention you can actually see me, so I got to thinking and, um... Well, I'd really like you to accept this and, you know, be my... <sighs> oh, dear Callum, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say this. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes! Yes, yes, and yes again, I accept your proposal. That's kind of mean. It's just like, I'm sorry, but I have to accept. Oh, you do? Gosh, that's great. I kind of thought you'd turn me down. Now, why would I do that? Oh, you know, because I'm kind of a wet leaf of lettuce. You'll, you'll have to ditch that attitude if you want to be my husband, mister. Right, you got it. That one's sweet, too. I feel like they could have, like, been a, a tad longer, but still, very nice. And I think we need another... More reeking boxes. I carry only the finest. Only the finest. Oh, we already have... Oh, never mind. My brain is just... My brain is melting. I'll just buy extra diddly dees. And... I guess we'll activate it here. Because, like, the, I, that's just the one funny thing where I kind of, like, I wish there was just ever so slightly more to the conversation. But I still like the characters and, like, their interactions. All the relationships so far have been very sweet, and I like their dynamics. It's almost going to make it difficult for me to be like, oh, man, I have to, like, specifically go out of my way to choose different ones. Like, we should probably bring Sully so she can train as well. And, hmm, because, where's Donald? Donald, get up here. Donald, you good? Donald, Naui, Stall, Maribel, Lanku, Pan, Sully, and I guess, uh, Vike. Where's Vike? Vike can do things. Let's view map. Activate that. What I should probably do is... Move up here, because you'll be down there. And I think that would be good. Yes. Because I want some good partners in battle. So first things first. Hmm. I'll have... Da -da. And... We'll switch so that now he can get some hits in. Come up here with him. Wait. He's actually a higher level, so... There. And wait. Darn, they're throwing axes. I wonder if they, like, raise affinity... Nope. That'd be nice if you, like, got raised affinity if you got attacked. But maybe they actually need to partake in battle. Hmm. Guess, yeah, these guys can just stay here, but let's see. Bronze Lance. Good. Your sword is activated. Good. I guess this... I know. We'll move here, blast you, and then Longku can come in and clean it up. And then Longku can come up and slap you with an iron sword. Get schmigged a schmack by a man. But primarily, I just want to see what Longku and Pan, like, have to say to each other. I think it might be interesting. And, yeah, we'll just, uh, wait everything else out. Come fight, fools! You missed! Now prepare to die. Then after he levels up, we'll switch to Pan. Again, every single time I say characters' names, I'm like, am I saying it wrong? Is it actually Pene? Of course, they go after one that can't fight back, you fiend. And you still missed. You dumbass. 
It's like the lower the lower sections like gonna get no training whatsoever. Hmm, I'm just wondering how I want to place them. Shall smack this man with your bunny might. <laughs> Get a crit, sure. Just fucking meteor strike that man. Hmm. We'll come blast him, and then we'll let. Pan and Lunku run back, grab the sparkly, because we're not going to get the other sparkly. Don't think. But I need to smack you with some swords. So now you get a die. And you missed your lightning thunder. Now you die extra hard. And a level up for Sully. Huzzah! And level up sword power. Extra huzzah. And I'll place you here to lure them in. You're gonna do one damage, you fool. And you missed at that. Now get drop kicked. <laughs> I love the design of the bunny form, like how the armor's still there. It's just, um, it, it, I like it. I like it the design. Design is nice. You did no damage, now you must die. And now you've come to commit suicide at the hands of the bunny. You fool. Said. We'll just move them up here so they can grab it. Don't get weapon proficiency. Good, you just found a thing. A glass axe. How does that even work? Let's see. Could smack him. Bronze lance. Level up our lance a bit. And then Sully could go down and smack the other guy. <laughs> and you'll just kill this guy in instead because you got a crit. Good for you. So I guess a crit triples the damage you would your projected damage. Gotcha, gotcha. Now smack him with a sword. Outsword the sword man. Get obliterated. And they move up. Let's see if we can run them down to the sparkly and decide who gets it. Let's see. Because I can come here, obliterate you. Probably should have moved elsewhere, oh well. Goodbye. I laugh in your face that you die. Who deserves it more? Well, honestly, Longku probably. Kill this man. A battle in the snow on a fort. And then he died. And nobody missed him because he was a bitch. And he got a new sword. Good for you. Melo. Melo. 
We killed a bunch of zombies and then they died. Viking Sully, what's your relationship like? Mm -hmm. Now that smells like a slice of heaven. What you eating there? Mm -hmm. Bugs bearing cabbage pie with the best cream of treacle in all of your lease. What? A shiny copper coin says it was baked by them lady friends that were following you. Yeah. Keep your coin. They gave it to me before we left to keep me warm on the journey. Hey. Gremlin's tail. The Vikes never had a gaggle of maidens bake him a pie. How'd you do it? What's your secret? Uh, not that I'm jealous of nothing. I suppose I'm just charming like that. Why, you need advice? Yeah. Har har. Old Teach don't need advice on that score. I mean, sure, no one's ever bothered to bake me a tasty pie, but I knew a milkmaid once who gave me an apple, and it only had one worm in it. Oh, yeah? Well, good for you. Besides, I'm more of a man's man, you know, and men don't usually go for pie bacon. I'd rather eat a donkey's hidequarters than a pie baked by one of my mates. <laughs> Still, I'd give anything to have lasses offering me their pies all the time. Maybe it's the horse. Ladies do love the horses. An idiot on a horse is still an idiot. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, wait a sec. Sully, you're a woman, uh, right? Got some tips for the vike? What do you admire in a man? He has to be better than me, someone I can respect. Right. Better? You mean better looking? Right. I mean better at important things. Smarter, stronger, faster with the blade and lance. Well, maybe you should take me on. I'm pretty tough, you know. If you think fighting me will attract women, you're an even bigger fool than I thought. Uh, but why not? It's been days since I've dished out a good thrashing. <laughs> a kind of neat thing. What's your relationship like? <sighs> I should be safe now. There's no way he could track me out. Hold. Gah, you are no ordinary man. Enough of this game. Tell me what you want and leave me be. Back. Do not come near me. Stay away from you? What do you think I've been trying to do all day, you ignorant man spawn? No. I found this bag. It's full of weeds or something. Right. That's my bag. Right. I know. You dropped it near the camp. <sighs> Is that why you chased me over hill and dale? Why didn't you just tell me? Thanks. Yes, well, when I saw your face, I became paralyzed with fear. And then you fled before I had a chance to explain. <sighs> bah, this is insulting. Wait, don't forget your weeds. No. I don't want them, or the bag. They are yours now. Blast, what am I supposed to do with these? I wonder if they taste good. Bah, a poor idea. Well, it's obviously building up to a story, almost. I kind of want to see where it goes. But we should probably actually continue the main story by going to chapter nine. I wonder what will happen. Well, first things first, we should probably make sure that everybody has the best weapons that they have. C rank, he has steel, and that's all that we can really afford. He's B rank with sword and C rank with that, but I don't think we have any C rank stuff to give him. We do have a killer lance. But I don't think we'll use stall in the upcoming battle. In fact, we could actually just go in and be able to do it. And um, I guess we'll just quickly what can I fix you with? buy some extra stuff just in case. We don't need iron boats. Excuse me. Bleg. Yeah, we don't need iron bows because we only have one, one guy. One guy who's in that, that realm. We could buy more mending. Now that we can just, I can just easily grind that. Mend, mend. Is there anywhere? That's good. We have enough magic. I think we have one of everything. Save, and onward we go to chapter 9. Plegia Castle Courtyard. Chapter 9. Emerin. So, Captain, let me be certain I understand your report. Not only did you not confirm that the Elysian party carries the Fire Emblem, but you can't be certain Prince Krom is even among them. Is that the gist of it? Yes, milady. 
The air was thick of sand. Even their number was difficult to ascertain. Perhaps if you had gotten closer, Captain. Here, let me show you. And goodbye, Captain. He... No! I'm sorry, I... Ah! Is he gonna become a Risen? Apology accepted. Do not... Do try to not to kill all the soldiers, my dear. We'll need a few for the welcoming party. The Elysians will be here soon, Crom and the emblem among them, I'm sure. That bleeding heart prince would never put good sins before his sister. And when they arrive, it will be a massacre worthy of their legendary father. Neat. Sire. <laughs> Spy. The exalt is to be executed at the castle on the morrow. I heard it from the king's own lips, sire. Right. This is it, then. Exactly as you predicted, Neon. <sighs> so far, yes, but tomorrow will be the true test. Chin up there. Show some confidence. It's your thinking that's got us this far. The plan is risky, but only as much is called for. It's all right. We'll find a way to see it through, Neon. Don't worry. This time tomorrow, we'll be swapping stories with him on the road home. Yeah. I hope you're right. Things hardly go so easily and well. Master Grima, Exalt Emerin is to be put to death on the morrow. Events will soon be back on course. <laughs> yes, I should never have doubted the truth of your words. The yoke of destiny cannot be cast off. Even as they resist, they write your future with every step, O oh Great One. But are they even Grima? Ah! Huh? Neon? Hey, Neon! What's wrong? Was it a nightmare? Oh. Is... is that what that was? I yes, it must have been. I'm sorry, what brings you here, Lisa? Was there something you needed? <sighs> Does that mean that we saw that? That's weird. Then again, uh... Whatever his name is, Sly Man, did, like, do something to us in the premonition, so who knows? Maybe we're connected. Frederick says it's time to march, and we can and we can't start the plan without our master tactician. Well, that's simple. Just fly some Pegasus up there and grab her. This seems like a very complicated execution plan. Good people, warriors of Plegia, welcome, welcome one and all. Your anticipation electrifies the air. We all remember the crimes of Ulysses. Ulysse, would you have their witch queen answer for them here today, now? Yes, finally we will have justice. Executioner, if you would be so kind. Flavia! I've me. got him. Lol. Oh. Everyone, now! Man, Flavia has... <laughs> now we're just here! Now let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba. We'll remove him, put me there. Let's see. Maybe remove you two. Put Frederick in. Pretsumia in. Hmm. Maybe, let's see. Let's see, do we have others that are, like, super good? The main thing is... Because these two are actually pretty powerful. I think Gaius carrying Lisa might be good. I want to keep these two together just because they're both individually very powerful. 
Simon, Frederick, Sumia. But we only have room for one more. Of which I think should be Sully. Well, actually, let's see. Kellum, because Kellum is super strong. View the map. Okay. Libra War Monk. So we'll probably need to, like, send Krom down there to grab them. Tharja? Okay, I know who you are, but you're named, so I'm going to assume... Well, now we'll, let's look at each enemy individually. Then again, maybe once we start, they'll actually do a thing that's... Ah, uh, damn it, actually. I just realized that we're in the sand area. And these probably block flying units. Gangrel, Aversa. So it seems that... Hmm. And this guy is named as well, but he has a shield on him. Whereas Tharja doesn't. He's a trickster with a leaven sword and a dragon stone! What's your power? Shadow Gift allows non-dark mages to use dark magic. Huh. A cruel, high-ranking Plaguean officer with a sultry aura. The cruel and fatalistic former king of Plegia. Former king? The Plaguean commander, willful and ill-humored. A dour Plaguean with a jealous streak and a knack for curses. So yeah. Hmm. And Libra. A patient Elysian priest who is often mistaken for a woman. Alright. Let's see. The issue is that we need to go... We're gonna be slow, so... Hopefully, we have, like, the power to really... We'll also have to see, actually. Yeah, it definitely seems like the walls block flyers. So it doesn't seem like there's going to be, like, a countdown, but... We need to be considerate of Libra and Tharja, because I know Tharja is, like, an actual character. And we just need to, like, actually talk to her, presumably with Krom, like we did with Gaius. All right. I'll save. And fight. Listen to me. Take out all the soldiers first. We'll deal with the Mad King later. Oh, will you now? <laughs> We've been expecting you, little prince. Men kill him, kill his sister, kill his troops and his friends and anyone else you find. Kill them all! And then they run. We'll pair together even though we'll go slow. Pair together so you can go far. But well, before we move. Darn. Uh. Should have prepared a bit better. Oh well. Oh, she actually goes far, so we can utilize that. Interesting. Okay, we'll probably send these guys up to, like, draw aggro a bit. Because, again, it doesn't seem like we're under much issue. Go ahead and smack these guys down. <laughs> Just get a crit, annihilate this poor man. And got a javelin for their troubles as well. up 
as well to defend them. Interesting that she can go decently far. So we're to kill or die here simply because the king commands it. Pfft, what do I care of these Ulysseans? We're given no reasons to fight, only orders. What's the point? Besides, I've always been quite good at choosing who to hate on my own. That's a good sign. Get blasted by fire! And sword. Are, are those buildings under, like, a giant dragon skull? That's actually pretty metal. Well, that's quite rude. And you missed, you fool. So yeah, we definitely need to rush down there and save them. All right, very rude. Okay, good, no damage. So they're not in, like, total, total damnation realm. But man. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Well, Lisa's dead for this round. Block it, please. I didn't, uh, I probably should have paid more attention to that. Exalt Imarin, no! God speed me to her side! So you seem to handle yourself well. So you're a war monk, huh? It is finished. Let's see. Ah, oh, darn, I just wanted to see. Yeah, because we probably need Krom to recruit them, just like we needed Krom to recruit Garrus, I believe. But you can never tell. You can never tell. I wonder if that's like a thing that they're, we, we're super expected to know. Let's see. We'll strike you down to so speed ahead. Ever so slightly. Everyone is getting... For... Did you say Elise and not Yilis? For Elise, Elysians. There needs to be like a... Glossary of words. I'm gonna throw a javelin at your face. I love the battle music that's going on in the background. It's utterly good. And we will definitely switch. Nah. Well, it's not like we can go that much farther anyway. Switch and we'll smack you a bit. Probably take a lot of damage. Never mind, you're gonna crit. Kill him. Who knows, maybe you'll also get a crit. 4% crit. Or maybe Yon... Uh, Lonku? Yep, he'll attack too. Now dropkick this Drake. That would be a sight to see. A giant rabbit person dropkicking a dragon out of the sky. And we'll swap to you so you can, like, help some, some stuff. You're very rude. All of you are very rude. At least that'll do zero damage. I guess they have a high magic resistance. We've been fighting so many risen zombies, it's almost surprising. Where is the damn weapon brigade? Hurry! Close off their escape!
when it's a Weavern Brigade when you have something better. We'll place you here so you can grab that as well. Snuck in some practice. Some weapon proficiency. Since it won't kill him, we'll place you here. And hopefully this will lead... Libra, I think, said their name was. Closer to Krom so we can recruit them. Level up time! Huzzah! Why would you go after literally our strongest units? Get flamed. Get crit flamed. Bye bye. Right. What a poor fate for you. And now I need to be careful because Tharja will attack. And if Tharja attacks, we might counterattack and kill her. I hope she does She's a mage, so she probably has decent movement over the sand. Please don't attack, Farja. Please, for the love of God, don't go and attack. <laughs> Whatever you goddamn do, Farja, don't attack. Once more. Level up for Sumia. Okay, good. She literally ca or he literally came here. Let's talk. Hey. You there. Who are you? Why do you fight alone? Good heavens. Good heavens. You're Prince Krom, brother to her heir to her grace the Exalt. What? You know me? Yes. Know you? Of course, sire. All Elysian clergy do. I must thank the gods for uniting us. Oh, dearest of most heavenly fa- with all respect, now is not the time for prayer. It's action that's called for. Ah, too true. We hurried here to help as soon as word came of the execution. We? Then there are more of you? Alas, there were. I lost many brave comrades along the way. In truth, I was starting to doubt the purpose of my struggle. But no longer. Pray, sire, let my axe serve you and your party. Yes. Your love for my sister is clear. I would be honored to be joined by such a formidable woman of the cloth. Um, man, sire. Man of the cloth. Hmm? You're a... You're not a woman? No, sire. Women are clerics. I'm a priest. Well, technically a war monk, if you care to split hairs. Me. Yes, well, I'm... I didn't mean to imply... Well, this is rather awkward. No. Oh, it's all right, sire. You realized your mistake quickly enough. It could have become much more awkward. <laughs> much more. <laughs> right, let's stop there. And now we'll move a decent amount of people up. Neat. Um, let's see, cause... <sighs> what I probably need to do is make it so that I am in control with my sword, so if she attacks from range, I can't attack her back. God, you move far. And we shall wait again, because I don't mind the Weapon Brigade coming to kill us. I am not scared of them. Get smacked! Yeah, we need to be very careful not to encroach too much. All right. We'll set me here to hopefully lure Tharja in. I'll 
place you here so you can heal. And... Oh. Place you there. Yeah, good. You have come to commit die. You did one damage. Now you're gonna experience far more. Good, good. And we can't attack her, so we can't annihilate her. Oh, very good. Assume Cordelia is just out here destroying everyone. Cordelia has woke up today and chose violence. All right, now we move forward. Switch, talk. You there, are you with the Plagians? You seem reluctant to fight. Maybe. Death comes for all of us eventually. Why invite it early, fighting for a cause I don't believe in? What? So I should take that as a no, or...? Let's just say I'm keeping my options open. I mean, long live the king and all, but I'd like to keep living as well. And I have a bit of a rebellious streak, I'm afraid. Uh, dark side. Good. Then perhaps you would rebel now and fight for our cause. What? You would trust me? What if this is all just a ploy to plunge a dagger in your back? Hmm. My sister, the Exalt, I think she would trust you. And I'm trying to learn from her. Besides, I already need to watch my back, whether you're with us or not. Well, that's odd. Usually when I bring up the backstabbing bit, the discussion is over. All right, then. Consider me your new ally. For now. Neat. Join up with Libra. I was like, how dangerous are you guys? Let's see. You guys aren't all that scary, you know. Hmm, let's see. He is just a normal boss, so we'll send our Pegasus Knights forward. And in. Now the... All of them can come and try their best and be annihilated. You are going to die with precisely enough death. <laughs> and Frederick decides to come in and do it quicker. Booyah! And now they're all coming for Sumia like a bunch of jerks. And Frederick is like, hands off my wife! Die! Hand off my wife and her horse. You now fight a rabbit. Get slashed. Double slashed. Darn it, Lanku, you could have killed him. They're all coming for him. How very rude. Your one-fourth chance failed. Why are they all going for you? Is it because they know that you won't kill them? Unless Long Ku joins in? At least I'll be able to pick and choose who I want to, like, level up, I guess. Let's see. We can swap and blast any of these fools. We shall, I say... Hmm. I say blast you. Just realized. Quite the outfit there. We shall blast you with some magic. You think I'm afraid? I'm here to kill all of you. No damage for you. He blocked the zero damage you would have caused anyway. That is how utterly pathetic you all are. Boo. 
Kazuya. <laughs> but then I'll have to see. Because I wonder what Libra the War Monk would like. Like, uh, what relationship he'd have with Pan. I want to know that. You took some damage? Go grab this, I guess. Ah, found an item. Alms Blade. This allows these to heal as well. Just move them up. Hmm. I suppose go ahead and knock this guy down a bit. Huzzah. I guess it's understandable why these guys would have so many, like, Wevern Riders now. Why'd you pa attack somebody who can range? <laughs> You're already dead. <laughs> well, she's menacing. Alright, let's move everyone up. Now the question is, who do I want to fight this man? That is the question. And he has a Draco shield. Yes. Hmm. I guess I could try any number of people. Well, first things first. We'll have somebody... Let's see, how much damage would he do? He is not all that scary from back there, but he has a short spear. So yeah, we can blast them. And we'll end there. Just because I can. I want to optimize things like a fool. Alright. We'll have her attack him from afar. You'll never save your precious exalt, scum. You're a big old man and you're gonna die. You, fo you, you have... Well, <laughs> I'm gonna crush you. Lol. If Donnie jumps in, you're dead. Kill this man. Darn it, he'll live. Let's jump him anyway. Worst comes to worst, uh, Krom will kill him. Darn it, Lunku. Then I suppose I have to come in and slap him with Falcon. What? Killing me will only feed Plegia's rage. I don't think I believe you. Killing you will only make great things happen. I can feel a huge difference. And we got a Draco shield. Right. Neon, their weapon riders have fallen. The skies are clear. I'm giving the signal. Your grace. What she said. Vela, I'm so glad to see you're safe, but how? Right. Con Basileo's men freed me. Come, we must hurry. Oh, yeah, because I guess they also must have been taken. What? What? Pegasus Knights? How did they? That damned Elysian tactician does not play fair! <laughs> yes, well, neither do I. Well, goodbye, Fila. Risen! Oh, gods, no! Krom, there are Risen everywhere! What? Damn, not now! <laughs> oh, did an army of living corpses just appear out of the blue? Truly the heavens smile upon mighty King Gangrel this day. <laughs> yeah, she's fucking dead. No. 
risen. How? Your grace, I forgive me. Ah. Uh, Vila! Oh, no. Excellent one, Pegasus Knight. <laughs> Watch how they fall, one by one! And they decided, yeah, we'll just go fast. No, no, no. God. We've lost. I believe this is what they call a reversal of fortunes. Now grovel before me, plead, beg for your worthless lives. I give up my life before I beg it for it from you. Oh, now that is a good line. A fitting epitaph for your tombstone, perhaps. But it's not just your life in the balance. The exalt still stands upon the block. And I have a dozen bows trained on her. All it would take is one word from me. Em, hold on, I'm... Archers! If this Elysian pub so much as twitches, let your arrows fly. I... I'll kill you. Go ahead! I welcome it. Just know you are responsible for Big Sister's bloody demise. And what of the rest of you, eh? Who wants the honor of killing the Exult? No one? Bah! Your merry band isn't quite so headstrong anymore, is it? Pathetic! What he said. <laughs> now, now, my boy. No, no one needs to die today. Not you, not the Exult, not your friends. Just lay down your sword and give me the fire emblem. I... Krom, you can't trust him. Still. Of course I can't trust him. I'm not an idiot. But if I just say no, he'll kill her. The gods are cruel. Damn them! My sister or my duty. A problem with no right answer, yet I must choose. What the fuck? What? 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 Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Oh god. Oh. Fuck. I didn't see this coming. I don't think this has happened before. There has not been a choice like this. <laughs> what? What? Oh, what? What, 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 what? Whoa ha ha! Ata ha! Ah! No, the ah! Uh, are you serious? I, I I don't know. I don't know what to say. I do not. I do not know. I do not know what to say. <laughs> what even the? I don't know. I don't know. The other, we can't sacrifice her. We can't. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but we can't sacrifice her. Ah! That's right. Don't give up. There has to be a way. If there is, I can't see it. Oh, gods. I will count to three. Throw down your weapons or your exult becomes the world's largest quiver. One, two, three. Wait. Gangrel, hold. You win. Everyone lay down your... No, wait! Silence! Sister. Em. King Gangrel, is there no hope you will listen to reason? You mean listen to more of your sanctimonious babble? I think not. No, all I want to hear now is the thunk of arrows and a splat as you hit the ground. Take one long last look from your perch. You do so enjoy looking down on people. Then prepare to meet the ground and your maker! That is, unless someone were to give me the emblem... NOW! Wait. What? All right! All right. And I know you won't approve, but this is my final decision. Maybe someday we'll face a crisis where maybe the emblem would have helped. But I know for a fact that Yelis needs you today. The people need their exalt, and we need our sister. If those dark days should come, we'll face them together. Crom, thank you. I know n Don't you, don't you dare! Don't you even dare! For a second! Don't, don't you dare! You don't, you're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do, are you? I was just, I was just gonna say, don't sacrifice, you what? 
Don't! Him, what are you? Plagians, I ask that you hear the truth of my words. War will win you nothing but sadness and pain, both inside your borders and out. Free yourselves from this hatred, from this cycle of pain and vengeance. Do what you must, as I will do. Don't you dare. See now that one selfless act has the power to change the world. Em, no. No! She's gonna jump, isn't she? She's fucking gonna jump. What a way to go. Is someone gonna save her? Is this just... What do you mean, no this reaction? Torch, I'm passing you. Hmm. So be it. You're really gonna do it. <gasps> really? They're going all the way. Her name is Lissa. Okay. And all my people. Jesus. No. That I loved you. We came all this way. And she still hit the ground. That was a fake choice, wasn't it? I've been bamboozled. I have been bamboozled. And no, there's no, I don't even exist there. I have been bamboozled. I have been hurt. Oh, gods. Damn you, Gangrel! No! <laughs> well now! How oh, disgustingly noble! And so lovely a fall! Here I thought death to be an ugly thing. I've never seen one fall so gracefully, in fact. And I've seen many fall. Ah, so ends Emerin, Elysse's most exalted. But how can we ensure everyone remembers this beautiful moment of her sacrifice? Perhaps we should gather up her body and put it on display! <laughs> King Grill, you die today! Go. No, boy! I secured an escape route! We must flee! Sister. But her body... I have to! Help. You have to run! Now do it! You know, don't let him do anything stupid! No. Oh, Even you came. No. no, I'm too late! Our bleak future is written once more. And darkness awaits us all. Well then! What fun! And now we have access to more steel and flux. I think steel is like normal. Nope, we can buy steel stuff now. We are going to buy a bunch of steel stuff. I can't believe they did that to me. I cannot believe that they did that to me. They did that to me. How dare they? They done diddly did that to me. H Master Seal and a secret book. Take your time. You know, we just saw horrible things happen, then I like, ah, buying things. Bleh. Then we have a battle at the Twins' turf and the Twins' hideout. Another paralogue. <laughs> Support. Ah, yeah, okay, we can see that. You know, we just saw the Exalt die. Now go ahead and show us your pinnacle of friendship marriage, I guess. Hey, Nowie, so I was thinking, we both got things we're looking for, right? Okay. Right. I got your back. Well, why don't we look for him together? Really? Oh, that's a great idea. Here, let's promise. Pinky swear. 
Or I was thinking of something a mite different than a pinky swear. Huh? Thumb swear? Yeah. I reckon this one's gonna need your ring finger. Oh, I see. Don, are you saying what I think you're saying because... Sure I am. It's a marriage promise. Hey, <laughs> I knew it. People forget I've been around the block a few thousand times. Well, now it's finally time to take things to the next level. Let's have your hand then. Here. Yeah, it's a perfect fit. Yay, we did it. Now we're promised to each other. No take backs. Don't you go and worry about that. I'm going to live out my life at your side. Thanks, Donnie. You're the best. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm going to dance a jig. Yeah! That's adorable. I do like that they didn't say, like, well, they said, like, marriage promise. So it's just like, in the future we will get married kind of thing is what it feels like. That's kind of sweet. And again, is the only thing that kind of makes it less weird in my mind. We're going to fight these guys, I guess. And then we'll do the paralogue. So let's see. Because we primarily want to, because hmm, Longku, maybe, let's see what Longku thinks of Tharja, maybe. Because we need to bring people in, Sully, Stahl, Maribel, two more, who else? Like, maybe bring Frederick in and he can guard Vike. Yeah, there. Vike can get to survive a bit. That's what we'll do. And view the map. Let's see. Sparkles, sparkles, closed town. So, yeah, promise to level up. Let's go. What the fuck is that? Gamble. Interesting. I'm guessing that's why they give you the ability to, like, unequip things. Let's well, see, that reminds me. Vike, you have Pyre, which is zeal. Grants five crit. Interesting. But I do believe everything seems good, so let's go. Because I want you guys to go together, because it'll be interesting to see what they think of each other. Can wait there. I also want to see what they think of each other. And then we'll have Vike take a stand. We'll switch to his axe. I probably should have given him, like, better things. Wait. Oh, we can't go to convoy. Hmm. There's sometimes you can access convoy, another time you can't. Interesting. And now Sully will be alone. Because we still need to level up her... Let's actually equip her spear. Will Vike get to kill? It looks like Vike's gonna level up. It's so slow. It's so slow there, Frederick. That you just like, you could have like shot shade into the way. But yeah, this is what we need just a little bit of a breather, but considering that we didn't really get to see much of Emerin, but it does feel like Plegia has played us quite hardly. Let's see though. That way they can, like, have a chance to come at all of us. And, of course, you go for the one that's alone, you jerk. God, that does a lot of damage. Smack this axe, man. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have put them into danger realm. Let's see. 
come here and smack you. Or what if we swapped and she elf thundered this guy? Get double thunder. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. Well, I guess magic thunder in this case. Why do video games do that? And this is before I even sharpen my nails. So that makes me wonder. Why do so many games change lightning to thunder or st st in that kind of realm? Equivalate the two. Get drop kicked. Yeah, the problem is she's kind of weak. So I'll set her to the side and maybe Maribel can do something. Use your sword. Time to really bring the thunder. Good job blocking that damage. I'll send Vike up there to smack this guy. <laughs> Why did you go to him? You're gonna die. Frederick is basically the guy I need to pair up with whoever I want to level now. Because he's married. Nobody's gonna woo him away from Sumia. And he can just increase the defense of whoever is he's paired with like crazy. You jerk. At least you're gonna be blasted. And you missed, because you're a double jerk. You're a jerk and a fool. Quit going for him! You're all going to die! At least this gives ample chance for me- Dang it. Darn it, Frederick! That was what I'm kind of saying. I want Libra to get a chance to attack. An unnecessary crit. Huh, does it, do they actually change, like, the facial portrait if they take too much damage? That's interesting. And now there's just one dude. One guy. I guess you can come up here and grab this. Because you're the only one available. A glass axe. Hmm, actually. Hmm. We will swap. You can mend. That'll bring the guy closer, probably. And allow us to plot things a bit better. And now we shall smash that button. <laughs> it just plays a split second of the music that amuses me. Kill this man. Again, maybe I should slow my roll on using the beast stone because... We can't recuperate on them just yet. I don't even know if you can. Maybe you're just supposed to find them if you're lucky. Brave sword! I also need to look and see if, like, who would use good for Roy's sword. Some supports! Maribel and Stahl, go ahead, get married. Hey. Maribel, weren't you looking for this book? What? Why, yes, how did you know? I've spent a lot of time with you lately. It's all kind of second nature. Like right now, I'd wager that you want a hot cup of, cup of elderberry tea. Oh. Well, now that you mention it, it is about time for a little break. You are getting very good at anticipating my every need. Since you started helping, I haven't once had to stay up all night. Stall, I do believe you have a special genius for making people's lives easier. Thanks. I enjoy making people from all walks of life happy, Maribel. Although there is one person who I like making happier more than any other. 
And that's you. Wait, Stahl, I don't believe that's a ring. Hmm. If you haven't noticed, I've become completely smitten with you. Whether carrying books or copying obscure scrolls, my heart leaps for joy at every task. And that's why I want to be your husband. Are you sure? It would mean a lot of hard work. <laughs> hard work? Pshaw. If it's done in your service, it would be a joy. Why, Stahl, you certainly know how to sweep a lady off her feet. Very well, I'd be honored to wear your ring. Thanks. And from now on, my dream shall be your dream. That's sweet. I like these characters. These characters are so good. Hmm. Now the question is, do we want to do that paralogue? We've been going for a bit, so... I think I'll hold off. And what I might do, maybe, is like do some uh, risen grinding with like lower level people and like pair them up with like uh, others just to like raise their affinity and then save like those and do them maybe I don't know because like I feel like doing too many risen battles in only like one chapter now is slightly slow hmm. but let's quickly go over things like oh um, you can keep that. I'll take that. But let's see. What do you think of Roy's sword? A heroic weapon. With a might of eight. Killing edge is slightly better. Alms blade. An ancient weapon. With a might of 15. I might give that to... Mar... Or <laughs> give that to Mar... Give that to Krom. Because I think he... Oh, and the Draco shield. I need to decide who gets that. First things first, Draco shield into the store. Now let's see. Defense. Who could use it the most, really? I don't think you. Stahl has the same defense level as Frederick, yet it doesn't feel like it. Hmm. See. Where's the people? I'm blind. Maybe we could save it. Jesus, what do you get plus ten? Why are you plus ten? Why do you have like cause like uh, why are you just like super pumped? Why why are your stats so buffed? I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm just trying to think. Hmm. I mean I could give it to Krom just so that he is big and beefy. But we should spread it about. But who should I spread it to? Like, maybe to Sully, she took a lot of damage. Maybe to Gaius, so he can be a speedy... Hmm. In fact, hmm. Because I do like him, and I want to use him more. But maybe we could hold off. We have three Master Shields. Oh, Barracks. All of a sudden. Okay. What are you carting around there, my love? Can I give you a hand? Oh, this? I made you a lunch. Sorry if it's squished. I dropped it twice. I wonder what that does. Like, raising the relationship of, like, a maxed out team. Hmm. I guess we'll have to wait for now. But first, we will go and sell a bunch of bullion. Only the, finest. only the finest. Wrong thing. I'm a dumb. Allows the wielder to strike twice? I don't know why he said strike like a fool. Bullion, 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 bullion. And I forgot to put other things away. I need to actually manage my goddamn inventory. Let's put this back to normal. We will store 
Allows the wielder to strike twice if they have A in sword. I can put that away and that away. Da 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 da. And put that away. Wish I could just like actually move them around in here. We can put that away and give you a better sword. You're at sword B. Let's see. Give him a killing edge. Armor Slayer. We have plenty of steel swords. And that, oh, yep, you can use a steel sword. Hmm. What I might do is, like, a, a bit of money grinding then, maybe? And since there's only some people that we can kill in the money room, we can use that to, like, level up and potentially raise affinity with people. I think that'll that's what I'll do. And we will save and do the paralogue next time. Well, this has been a bit of a downer, hasn't it? The f Imarin is dead. And it was a fake choice there to agonize you. You sit there and be like, oh, what do I do? Do I sacrifice her for the emblem or no? And then, to, and then it's basically just a morality test because it doesn't matter. God, it hurts so much. But, yes, I still love this game. It's making me feel things. I like the characters. I like their interactions. It's still kind of weird that the young-looking characters can marry. But at the same time, they, it depends. I wonder what the other S rank with, like, Donnie and other characters is like. At least with, like, Naoi, it's less weird. Even though it is, like, I don't know, a 15-year-old, I guess, pr promising himself to the thousand-year-old dragon who likes to play at being underestimated, I suppose. Even though she was stolen and sold into slavery and has been around for a thousand years. That implies a thousand years of slavery, dear God. Huh. Well, yeah, we got a bunch of people to S rank, which is nice. And now I can start, like, pairing them up with whoever just to raise affinity at random. But I think that's what I'll do. I might do some raking boxes and money grinding so I can stock up on weapons and magic and also just like level up some people I might look and see when we might be able to buy like the stones so if I want to hold off or not but yes thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed what you saw and if you did I have two YouTube channels that you can check out the edited content YouTube channel Neon Icy Wings I swear content is coming eventually if I can wrinkle brain and then also the gaming YouTube channel where all these let's plays stream VODs and even live streams happen and get placed especially for the streams I record the streams and then they go up afterwards and it is Neon Icy Games you can watch various older Let's Plays of mine, like the Mass Effect Trilogy, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, just a bunch of games over there. And then, if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch, I have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash neonicywings. If you want other things from me, like art, similar to my little character in the corner, you can see me post art to various websites, like Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, uh, Hello for there's so many this there's, there's so many and all of their links can be found in my link tree linktr.ee slash neon icy wings or a direct link to that link tree in various bios descriptions and link places of the various sites also in my link tree are links to my writings if you find that amusing as well as my patreon if you want to throw a dollar do my way to ease the evils of the world as it batters towards me but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.